So we pre-washed Lucia's face with, in her element, I know it's a mirror image, um, available at Beauty Bar. And we're gonna re we're gonna apply on her skin this one in our element rose radiance moisturizer because we need to moisturize Lucia's skin. She's only 15 years old. Lucia's skin looks radiant right away, right after the moisturization. And now we're gonna do eyebrow shaving. So I'm going to um, put her eyebrows in place first before I do the makeup so that it's going to be under the hair. I don't like to cut so much of her hair because Lucia is still 15 so we want to keep her hair as natural as possible. So, brow soap. Just putting it in place while I do the makeup so it won't in the wrong position then I'm putting makeup on the brows later on actually the way we tame it will also help us design the brows later so when I do advanced makeup techniques just like our peg right here I usually use a very creamy concealer as a base or a primer this one is not tractor I'm sure a lot of you already know this Japanese brand so it's creamy enough and um, if you don't put too much it's lightweight to serve as the base of your eyeshadow especially Lucia her her eyes are deep and um, she has her natural color which is kind of dark so when we apply the closure piece concealer on top of that I remove all the base color that her eyes has. She has around, um, she has a lot of veins as well around her eyes. So I can start with a clean color. And my eyeshadow will not be affected with the eye, the color of her, the natural color of her eyes. So I'm going to apply also on the other side. So I'm gonna reapply for more coverage because with um, advanced makeup techniques, the one you use for theater, acting, or school plays, or like even drag, drag events, or if you want to just do drag makeup, you need a very good base so all your colors will come out, okay? So sometimes some makeup artists they use um they wet the eyeshadow to make it appear more intense or they use a liquid base okay but for now since we're actually just using Lucia's palette by Avani Greg Avani Greg more in partnership with Morphe so as you have seen our peg. Uh, this Avani Greg palette has uh, the colors that we need. Okay, so we're not going to use any liquid eyeshadow underneath it. We're focusing on this palette for our look. So for advanced makeup techniques, we don't do that much um, blending. We want to be really intense. So I am using a um, very pointed contour brush, getting my gray. Hey, goodbye, smiley face. So we're also testing this palette if it has good pigment on it. So I'm not worried about the, the fallouts because we're going to do the concealing later and the uh, foundation later. So I'm just focusing on my eye. So you make your client look down. Open your eyes a bit. And then look down. Don't make them close their eyes so you can actually see where their socket is. Okay, so once you have seen where their socket is, that's where we focus our contour. <laughs> so our peg, our peg is winged 
but uh, the eyeshadow contour color does not have a wing underneath so we're just focusing on the top contour and our eyeliner will do the bottom okay So we're intensifying the color. It's just a light gray color, actually. I'm just um, building it up. So I'm extending to the side, imagining my wing will meet the contour on top. So that's how far. If my wing is right here, then I should be in the right place already. So trying to intensify that even more. Close your eyes, please. Focusing on the fold right here and blending it inward. Okay. So that should be the end of my contour. Here. That's the start. Then I go to the other side, of course. Again, make your client look down. And stretch it a bit so chin up and then look down stretch it a bit so you will see her crease then after you have seen the crease you can allow your client to close their eyes so I'm building it up again like I did on the other side So again, I'm imagining my wing up to where should I reach. So I have a little bit of space there left. Okay, so our peg has a little bit of brown background in it. So close your eyes. So to, to layer that, I'm going, I'm using, um, it's called Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, Anthony, it's a tan brown shade. So close. So I'm just blending this on top with this tan color with a blending brush that's a bit fatter than the first one I used. I'm just blending it on top to create that background of the contour. No, no, if you can see it in the camera. There, so we're creating this tan background. Right, then we will re intensify our gray after this. So advanced makeup has a lot of layers, guys. You keep on building the color. Because the color usually has to be seen all the way to the back of the theater. For example, if you're doing a theater performance or a ballet recital. So it has to be intense enough. Okay. Okay, so we want to further intensify that. After the gray, we do a little bit of black, but I'm using a very thin concealer brush because I want it only right where my crease is. So again, we layered three colors, gray as my base, brown, Anthony, <laughs> brown as um, my blurring on top, and now I'm using black. So I'm putting it right where the crease is, all right? So I am testing this palette. I did not put anything to wet it just to see if the pigment of the palette is good enough. So far, it's doing the trick. Don't you see, guys? There you go. It made that far part of the eyes a lot deeper compared to the other side if you can see the one that has only gray the one that I added black 
looks deeper. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side now. This video is being done just using Lucia's iPhone. So there are no special effects or anything. So you just clearly see what is going on with our color. Is it adhering properly? There. That's it. So, um, so far, the palette of Avani Greg. Avani Greg. Avani Greg is not disappointing. Okay. And how much was it for? How much did you get it for? One five. Okay, so, um, we got this uh, palette from an online seller and it sells at one five. So, well, as you can see, the pigment is good. I think it's worth your money, guys. A Vanny Greg is not disappointing. Well, we don't know about the light colors, but so far, the intense colors are A-OK -okay for me. There you go. So now you got that strong crease, the one that we usually use for advanced makeup. Now, of course, we have some fallouts. Um, our peg has a light base, in fact, glittery. So we're going to apply the base color for that glittery eyeshadow. So I'm reapplying my concealer to remove all of these fallouts under my black color. So kindly of close your eyes. So I'm carefully reapplying my concealer just right below the black shade, okay? Your hand, if you can see my finger is kind of resting on her face to get that stable hand. Because if it's just out there, you might accidentally place on the part that you don't want to touch. So keep her, let her close her eyes for a while so that it won't smudge because this concealer is creamy and if she opens her eyes, she has tiny eyes by the way. So when she opens her eyes, the cream will stick to the eyeshadow and you're going to have to start all over again. So please keep your eyes closed, Lucia, for now. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side, reapplying our concealer. Okay, so we got that concealer over there. I'm just gonna go for more symmetry compared to the other side. Right, so we're gonna top that up with Lil Poppy Vonny. I don't know how to pronounce it again, but it's a white eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm not gonna swipe or anything. This is called pressing. I'm gonna press in the color. Okay, pressing in the color. I'm more or less just mattifying the concealer that I applied. That's why I am pressing it. I don't want it to migrate elsewhere. I want it to stay in place. You learned a term today. It's called pressing or some call it folding. Mineral makeup makers or manufacturers call this 
folding. It's the act is actually pressing down the cup. So remind your client or your model not to open their eyes at this point because it's important that we are able to make the color settle first before they open their eyes or all the colors will blend in. If that happens, you're going to have to start over. Okay, so our peg has glitters. So we're trying. Oh, by the way, the color is inaudible noise. <laughs> the color is right there on top. So we have, we're going to try the star emoji. It's made out of glitters. I don't really know if we need a special product to um, apply this, but I'm trying it without any other product. Just my brush. And so far, it's adhering on my brush. So let's see if it will adhere on her eyes. So we're making the middle part have that intense glittery look. I'll do the same on the other side. Then we're just going to blend in the rest inside. This bag is quite messy actually. That's why again, we don't have our foundation just yet. You see I need to keep her eyes closed. For a while now so that this will all set first mm -hmm. then more on the inner corner oh we can just apply that later after our eyeliner Okay, so next will be our eyeliner. So for our eyeliner, we're gonna make her open her eyes, but just a tad little bit. Can you open? Do that. Go open. Just slow, slow open. The reason why I wanted her to open her eyes because I wanted to see the connection of the lower opening of the eye because that's where my wing will be. So I'm connecting. From the lower opening of her eye all the way up here. Okay, that will be my eyeliner. So, all the way to the middle. All right, so I did create that winging. Okay, look down again, please. So, again, I want to see. How I can connect her lower going up. There, it's like I'm connecting her lower lash line to my wing. And when I get that wing, I will move it all the way to the middle. Now she can close her eyes. So I can do the inner. Okay. Now my eyeliner is full of glitter. <laughs> so there you go. I just did the frame of my eyeliner. So I'm framing my eyeliner here inside. As well, yeah, glitter is all over. Okay, so we're doing the fox eyeliner, which is quite hard for Lucia's eye shape because she has this tiny bit of skin here. But we will try our best.
eyeliner is filled with <laughs> glitter. Let's see how I did it. We'll check later. Alright, so after doing your liquid eyeliner, make sure to sanitize that for your next client. Now we're gonna fill that in with a cream or gel eyeliner to make that more intense. Okay, so we're intensifying using a tiny brush to intensify because we need to fight off that glitter. And we're filling in our wing over here as well. Okay, we got our eyeliner. Now we're gonna work on the lashes. Oh, sorry. Before we go to the lashes, we are going to set that with powder. Okay, so either this or this. This one you need. They say you need to wet your brush, but I'm not gonna really wet my brush because. Um, I'm using this to set my gel, so I need it to be powdery. So that's how I'm going to set my gel. Need right now, I need something to mattify my eyeshadow. I mean, my eyeliner gel. I'm down to because it's eyeliner. Okay, we're gonna do Lucia's lashes. Now open my eyes. Yeah, you can open your eyes because uh, we have mattified the uh, different parts of your eyeshadow. But hand it chin up when you open your eyes so that you won't totally mess up. Oh, eyes. that's nice. The eyeliner looks cool. Yeah, so see, when you're doing advanced makeup, there are steps how to do it. <laughs> 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 it's not like what you see in... TikTok or um, IG where it just seems so easy because there are actual steps to make it last longer and so that everything won't transfer where it's not supposed to be. Go take your professional makeup artistry class with us and we assure, to eat. We assure you you'll get tips and techniques that um, a makeup artist should know. So we're gonna do the rest of Lucia's face. We're gonna do her lashes, her brows. We're gonna clean up all the mess underneath. And we're gonna connect the top eyeshadow to the bottom eyeshadow to complete the look. So we're using a disposable mascara wand. We don't want to... We'll make a video about how to keep your makeup sanita sanitary or sanitized. And this is one part of it. As much as you can, use as much disposable stuff to be sure that you don't contaminate your client's eyes or your own makeup. See ya, if, I'm not sure if you can see in the camera, has amazingly long lashes. But they're very straight, so we like to do lash lift on her. Okay, so I have a heated curler. <laughs> I don't like those scissor looking ones. I don't like hurting my client's skin or pulling their lashes. Um, heated um, lash curlers are very useful for me. It makes a natural curl and I don't hurt my clients. They actually love it. In fact, they ask me where I buy it. I buy it from Korea, so I buy extra for them when I go abroad and they purchase from me. 
because it's so amazing. Here, I curled her lashes. So again, we're cleaning up everything after this. Now we're going to use this um, cat eye, cat eye eyelash extensions or strip lashes to match our look. Now we're going to apply the lashes. I have this, um, it's um, an eyelash wand. It's supposed to be glue as well, but um, it doubles as an eyeliner. So it will also help our makeup stay in place and our lashes adhere better. I got this from one of my students, MC. MC Kawai Kawai. But I also still applied glue on my the normal glue. Look down, open, look down. On the lashes itself. So for the look, um it's a full lash strip. I didn't cut it that much because we need something intense. Look down, please. Hopefully Lucia can tolerate it. It's very, very wide. Here, look straight. There you go. That's the look we're going for. Are you getting poked with the lashes? No. Okay, good. Look down again. Thank you. Okay, look straight. There you go. Can you see it, Lucia? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start cleaning you up. Right. So I'm going to start cleaning her up with um, the moisturizer again. Look straight, please. There you go. So why do I like using moisturizer as a cleaning agent? Look up. So it removes the fallout and it also moisturizes the skin some more, especially the under eye area because we don't want any lines over there. Makeup remover will mess up with your primer and everything else. So it's not a good time to use a makeup remover. Use a makeup remover when you're done with your makeup. Look up. But for fallouts, again, I use a moisturizer. Another tip from me, guys. No, oh, sorry. So we are still going to apply color here because um, our peg has makeup underneath as well. Okay, so we cleaned it up. Okay. All right, so now, Lucia, I need you to look up because we're going to do the bottom of your eyes, the lazy wing to the bottom of your eyes. So make sure you're using a pointed eyeliner. There you go. Lucia's not really very used to this. <laughs> She's tearing up. Look up. So look up, sorry, after I get the sides, I'm going to get my powder eyeliner, I mean my powder eyeshadow, and just there you go. That's a powder eyeshadow. There you go. It instantly looks smoked. See that effect? It instantly looks smoked. Look up. I'm going to do that on the other side. Okay, again, focus. Sorry. I need some more. So I have decided to just use eyeshadow on Lucia. This eyeliner pencil is making her cry. So there you go. I'm intensifying the fox eye. You instantly get that smoked look. Now we messed up everything again. So we're going to clean up 
same way we did the last time. Now we're gonna go to her foundation because uh, I'm pretty much done with the eyes. I'm just gonna do her brows later, but that is not messy, so I can start with my foundation. I'm using Estee Lauder in warm vanilla, but I'm still gonna test it on her, of course. This is just a guess that it's her shade, but we'll find out. Again, um, learning how to do makeup is very technical. You need to do shade matching. Okay, so I'm going to use this in the middle of her face. So it has to be quite lighter than the rest of the face. So I guess I'm good with my warm vanilla. I'm going to apply it all over her face now. So we're doing the, the diamond of her face. Okay, this part of the video will be in fast mode. Sorry, guys. So I like this foundation because it has a glowing finish. Anyway, Lucia is very young. She doesn't need too much coverage. It is a glowy, dewy finish. See how glowing it is this foundation but if you need a full coverage foundation this is not the one for you um, it's supposed to be full coverage and long wearing but um, the finish is really glowing and luminous for me that's why I'm putting it in the middle of her face There, so we got that glow. And we're gonna warm up the sides of our face. This time we're using a darker shade. It's Tawny. 3W1. Also, a stay loader of the, uh, it's double wear stay in place makeup. That's what I'm teaching. So I'm just gonna dab with my sponge to help that set for now without powder. Because I'm moving on to my darker shade for the sides of her face. I'm gonna do this side now. Is that good? Not too much. So when we do contour, we don't want to see the lines in front. But for advanced makeup or for event makeup such as this, it's fine. Uh, we can intensify the contour later. But right now, we're just doing a two-tone foundation. Yes, question. Which shade did you use for under for this part, the darker oh, one or the lighter I made, one? I used the darker one right under your lip here, right here, to make your lip appear bolder and your chin to appear higher. Okay, so we're gonna intensify that contour again with powder later. This is more of a 
just doing two-tone foundation. So as you can see already, even with her ears tucked, her cheeks became higher and the sides of her face look slimmer. Okay, so this is just done by two shades of foundation. I did not put any contour yet. I'm just reapplying here to remove that fallout and lift the cheek some more. Then we're gonna do under the eyes. So we cleaned up. We're gonna clean up underneath the eyes. Look up, please. So I'm gonna put here where her dark, where the deepest part is. Whenever you say look up, I imagine the eyes of the storm. Okay. At us. Eyes of the storm. So we're very careful when it comes to this part because remember, we also have eyeshadow under. Okay. Eyes of the storm there for a while, please. Oh, so in case you're asking, it's still Estee Lauder. <laughs> Double wear, um, stay in place flawless wear concealer. Because I don't like mixing brands when it comes to foundation. Because they end up hating each other <laughs> and you get all the crease. So I'm using the same brand for my foundation and my concealer. Estee Lauder. Double wear. Concealer. Eye of the store. So I uh, remember the folding. I'm gonna fold the uh, concealer underneath. Fold the concealer underneath. Then I'm gonna quickly set that with my loose powder. Look up, please. Otherwise, all the fallouts will go crazy again. So we're baking that all the way to the bottom. Baking is good for Lucia's age, but not for mature skin. So be careful with too much baking, guys. Here we go. So while we're baking that, we're going to work on the other parts of her face. Okay, so contour, powder contour time. Deposit. And brush down. There we go. We want the darkest shade right there. Other side, please. The faucet, brush down. My only Hakudo, Haku, Hakuhodo brush I got from Pretty Girl Manila. Then the remaining powder that I have on my Hakuhodo brush, I just blend out. Blend out here. Have a lighter one. I'm blending the lighter contour on top. 
lighter one is quite orangey, so it can actually act as a blush. Our goal is not to make her have that blushy look because our eyes are very intense. So we just want that contoured look. And underneath the, underneath the contour, I'm going to bake it as well. So I can get the sharp contour. There you go. And we're going to blend that. But first I'm going to do her brows. So now I'm gonna do her brows, Project Vanity. This is actually Alana and Project Vanity partnership. Uh, it's Life Proof Eyebrow Gel in light brown. Okay, so there. I'm using my favorite brush, Clap! Royal and Lang Nickel by Omnia. But no, I don't don't usually do this. I put it on my palette, uh, I mean my metal palette, and I add a little bit of thinner to it. Well, so this is how I normally do it. I put it on my metal palette and then I spread it or dip it before I apply my eyebrow. Okay. So we're making the brows light so the focus will still be on the eyes. That's why I used light brown. And later we're gonna reapply brow soap or, or brow mascara. There you go. When I turn 18, you're permanent in that. I like it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do permanent. It's actually semi permanent, lasts around two to three years. So it should be good because trends for eyebrows change all the time. So you might not want the same shape for a very long time. But we're definitely gonna do that. There you go. So I'm leaving this. Just clean it as it is. She has a bit of hair, so I'm not gonna put anything there. Just brushing her hair properly. There you go. This is very waterproof. That's what I love about this product. Okay, so I need to look down. Your lashes are blocking the way. So it's good to have a live doll on, in your own house like I do with Lucia. Okay, I need to check for symmetry. Alright. So now, we're gonna reapply her brow soap. So I'm gonna reapply the brow soap to make that look bushier. Um, this year, they're coming up with a lot of filters to make your eyebrows thin. I'm still not 
into the trend right now guys enjoy your brows if you keep plucking them one day when you're older it won't come back and you're just gonna have to well contact me again for permanent eyebrows <laughs> okay I'm gonna put some highlighter in there somewhere so again now I'm gonna do my highlighter for the brows and inner eye this is from Elana's my favorite halo or doesn't white that turns pinkish I'm gonna do that under the brows I have all of the highlight on my hand so I have to be careful I'm gonna do that right here under her brows. I'm not sure if you can see that. Do you see that? And I'm gonna add right here over her brows. Do you see that, guys? There you go, yeah. Let's add a little bit here. There. Is it seen now? And then I have a little bit here. There you go. And I'll have a lot here. And here. Of course, we're going to do that on the other side as well. And then a lot here around our fox there and here then here this one is very it's also very glittery but very very tiny pigment so that it stays in place there now we're gonna blend everything so i'm gonna finish up my powdering with mac of course everyone's favorite and nc30 to give her that warmth look up yellowish tint warm all over okay so i'm just gonna retouch this part because i accidentally held it there you go and we're gonna finish up with um mac again um, it's very lip glossy because Lucia's lips are so dry right now. So again, I use my mixing plate and use a disposable wand to prevent contamination. We should have pre-moisturized her lips, but since we didn't do that, I'm just using a very moisturized lip color. She has very full lips. She's very lucky. Her lips is what people go for these days. With fillers. Just gonna retouch a little bit of the contouring as a final step. To elongate her face even more. She has a heart shaped 
is we're trying to make it more oval. All right, there you go. And of course, let's not forget to contour the nose. 